In the last week, I've received around 50 different messages from fans and groupies asking when I'm finally going to make a video on the defensive lob. Well, ask and you shall receive, because in this video, I'm going to cover three drills to help you improve your defensive lob. Exercise one is lob job. Now the player is going to start back on the baseline playing defensive backhand lobs on the run into the deep target area. If the lob is really weak and shallow then the coach can just smack the ball away. So something like this. Okay. But if it's a really good lob then the coach will have to let it go. Now how we define a good lob the coach cannot move back past the service line. So if he gets to the service line and he still can't reach the, the ball, then he's gonna let that lob go. So something like this. Okay, that was a pretty good lob. Make sure that when you're playing this defensive backhand lob, on the ball's journey, it travels nice and high over the net player, so it's way out of their reach. If you're aiming just a little bit above their reach, then there's a chance that they can reach that and put the ball away. Okay, that was kind of a good lob. Let's try it again. So that type height, he's gonna reach it easily. If I aim two, three, four times the height of that, there's no way he's gonna reach it. It's gonna be way more effective and it's gonna carry deeper into the court. Drill two is lob and follow. Now this time the player is going to play another defensive lob over the net player's head into the deep target area. They're going to follow the lob to the net and they're going to put away the next ball with a volley. So it should look something like this. When playing your defensive lob, it's important that you're trying to establish a long hitting zone. So quite often I see people play these short, bunty style lobs where the contact is really short, they're looking a little bit like a dinosaur and uncomfortable. If you can, you want to try and create a long contact with the ball and the extension is going to go up towards the sky. So this will help you have a little bit of a hitting zone and it will also help give you a little bit of control. Just like that, and that landed right in the target area.
Drill three is the decision. So this time, I'm going to feed a short ball in. Uh, my opponent's going to play an approach shot down the line, put me into a defensive position, and I've got a decision to make. So when I, I can either use the defensive lob that I've been using as an option to try and stay alive, or if I see a little bit of space, I can try a passing shot and hit it past them and try and win the point outright. One factor that will impact my decision is my opponent's position. So if I see them hanging on top of the net, ready to kill with the volley, then the obvious option is to play the defensive lob. So Mark, move forwards. If I see my opponent stood right there, hanging over the net, I'm gonna lob. And that'll be game over. If I see them hanging a little bit further back after the approach shot, so there, I can look more for a passing shot or something low at the toes that will beat them out right. Thanks for tuning in to this week's tuto tutorial. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to this week's tutorial on the defensive lob. Thanks to my friend Mark for helping out. You're welcome. Um, be sure to use these exercises in your own tennis games. It's really good to frustrate your opponents. You might see them break a few rackets or attend a few anger management classes. Um, be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment. Goodbye and God bless.